Hi! Welcome to Far Cry 4. We are playing the first Willis mission, <laughs> Free Willis. It's located just northeast of Banapur, as like everything else. You can only go kind of east from Banapur, but there we are. There's a <laughs> propaganda poster because why not? And then you run to this area here where Willis will come in on the radio. AJ Gale! Yeah? Son of Mohan Gale! Golden Path founder, shot dead! Raised by your mother stateside, now back in Kirat to fulfill her final wish. Who is this? You can find that out after you help me land my bird at the airport. And why would I want to do that? You're in this to fight the good fight and shoot bad guys, not play 20 questions. The sooner you help me, the sooner you can get back to evoking stand your ground laws on foreign soil. Besides, I have intel for you. Hello? Are you still there? Ah, great. So it wouldn't be a uh, mission of any kind if I didn't drive straight first into a tree or something like that. <laughs> anyway, we need to go to the airport, which is not there at all. There it is. Northwest of our location. So after a little bit of driving, I came in this way. I'm at the airport. Good. I did a flyby earlier and spotted some snipers. Clear them out. And remember, we have a common enemy. Taking out Pagan's men will make it easier to secure the airport for your Golden Path comrades. Right. One more thing. You'll need to keep a low profile, like a Republican living in San Francisco. No alarm. Don't get spotted, period. I've got a meeting with the commander stationed at the airfield, and I don't want him to know I have an ace up my sleeve. Once you're done, call me. So this mission starts with having to clear out some snipers, there was a miss at first, but you tend to be far enough away that it's not too much of a problem. There's one there, I used a hunting syringe to help me locate them. And thankfully there's a little count at the top, that's two out of six. And obviously the little red lines, uh, the sights give them away as well. Oh, he moved. The beggar. There's three. There's another one up on this ridge here. Yeah, that was a kind of a lucky guess. I just assumed there'd be one sort of up in that direction. And actually at the end of this mission, or well, towards the middle of it, you get a Z93, which is nice. I needed two more radio towers, I think, or outposts, by the way, to unlock that. So it's a nice early bonus. I hung onto it and took it back to an outpost. And you can put some pretty sweet attachments on it too. Then I decided to take the zip line because I couldn't see any more snipers anywhere. And thought I'd come around and have a look here. I have a look up to, I think, to the right again. Oh no, there's one there. Then after this I look back up to the right, forgetting that I've already taken one out from there. The change of perspective confused me a little, although I'm rarely aware of my surroundings, <laughs> if I'm honest. I rely on hunting syringes almost exclusively. Yeah, so that's where I took out the fourth one. And then I used a hunting syringe to try and track down the fifth one, and he's practically dead ahead of me. Uh, just looking around for that telltale symbol, and sure enough, there it is right up there in the distance. And I'm kind of quite proud of this shot, I'll be honest. Well, not that one, but <laughs> this one. There we go. Okay, it's safe to land now. I took out the snipers. Nice work! I'm coming in for a landing. Get to the control tower and call me when you're there. This is, as you might imagine, where it all went a little bit wrong. <laughs> I thought I would sneak around to the right there's a thing there not to alert the commander and there's a chap coming up to look at a dead body which I would have thought honestly would alert the commander but apparently not I didn't want to jump off the side it seemed like quite a long way to go and plus I wanted to dodge this guy but then I was worried he would see me while I was trying to sneak around or at least raise the alarm so I headed back up thankfully there are some stairs on the outside there and he's up there looking at that sniper's body genuinely surprised he didn't say something I was going to go for a death from below here but then he's popping down, and I'm like, oh god, no, don't let it happen. So he saw me, or almost saw me there. I'm trying to run away, but that ammo box is in the way. Fortunately, he doesn't see me before I get the takedown in, so no alarm raised there. Then I spent about two minutes faffing around, trying to work out my route, and realized the best way was to jump off that roof to head over the fence. It didn't seem an easy way through the fence without revealing myself to the commander. Then I headed up here. And I thought, well, I'll just sneak around the edge here, but they saw me, and now they've seen me, I can't move away fast enough, unfortunately. So that's it, cover blown. And yes, Commander not so much alerted as eliminated. <laughs> so that was a fail. It restarted me over here. I wasn't quite sure where this was. This is coming up the road from the other side. 
and I thought, well, I'll just run in. And thankfully it had saved the progress of the sniper, so there was a checkpoint there. There's one guy here, on guard, and I thought, well, that's an easy takedown. He's standing in the middle of the road with his back to me. What I didn't count on was this chap here seeing me. He makes a run in here, and I take him down there before he gets to the alarm, which I hadn't noticed on the minimap, but you'll see is right there, just around the corner here. I actually skipped it. So what I did then was come back to where I was because I just wanted to see how to get around, to be honest. And the trick is to head up here and then around this way. And obviously having come back this way it made it a little bit easier as well. And I thought I'd just use a hunting syringe, even though I've just walked this way. I wanted to make sure that there was no one on patrol. And sorry, I walk this way when I cut. You'll see over here to the right is there, that's the guard tower that I came in at there. So there would have been two guys waiting there had I not uh, been alerted by the commander. And it's a shame also I wanted to loot the sniper's bodies that I'd killed, but such is life. Anyway, up here into the control tower, I wanted to keep relatively low so as not to get spotted, right, having just been busted. And then up here onto the roof where there is a Z93. We're about to hear them do that. I'm in position. Stay there and watch my back. I've got a quick little sit down to deal with before we can chat. If this meeting goes south, I'll give you a signal. What kind of signal? When I say Reaganomics, open fire and don't stop till all the bad guys are gone. Reaganomics? Okay. I'm gonna keep this channel open, but stay quiet. I don't need any distraction. This guy could be a little jumpy. Got it? Got it. Good. Here we go. Got the goods right here, just like you asked for. Change of plans. What's that now? I said change of plans. Yuma wants me to bring you in. You kidding me? You can't do that. We had a deal. You and your plane aren't going anywhere. I'm taking you to Yuma. Well, let's try to work something out, okay? There's nothing to work out here, buddy. Where I come from, a deal's a deal. You can't just change things up. It's un-American. I've had enough of this. Are you familiar with Reaganomics? There was a sound policy that ensured the fiscal future of the United States. You must said to So, I won't lie, I missed this the first, second, and third times that I tried it. I wanted to stay up here to snipe, because this gun's a lot of fun. It's like a mini AMR. It's a one-shot kill uh, pretty much wherever you land a hit, which is nice. But every time, and you'll see what happens at the end here, Willis runs around the corner because I guess I'm not sniping quick enough. And it means that there are some guys shooting at him that I can't see from where I am, so I have to drop down. In this run, I drop down to assist, rather than staying high. And then he moans about Overwatch not being good enough. Now obviously if you're a much better shot than me you're going to clean up much more quickly and actually it wouldn't be a bad idea to break out a different weapon there when those guys are running across the courtyard. I think I made a mistake there by not using the sniper rifle. Uh, by using the sniper rifle and not say switching to a grenade launcher. And you see here, now they've run out of line of sight, there's a guy over there shooting and I managed to snag him with a headshot and there's another guy I think over to the left but I used a hunting syringe here just to make sure and then dropped down here, took a bit of falling damage ran through here, took another bit of falling damage sadly uh, but you can see he's pinned and there's just absolutely no way I can support him here so I needed to get up close and personal and the shredder is the man for that job this guy was an easy takedown, I was kind of hoping to be able to chain takedown there but it, uh, the option disappeared could have probably taken him down but you can see the shredder does just so much damage I snagged an explosive barrel there, which made me very happy. And there's a few guys running in over here, but again the shredder, uh, <laughs> not the shredder, the grenade launcher makes short work of them. Uh, I was just having fun at this point. I kind of figured nothing to lose. Grenade launcher is explosive entertainment. Now a whole bunch more guys come in. You may have seen Willis chattering. They're going to slide in. You'll see one there on a zip line. Uh, and there's another one, I think, close on his tail. He's climbing down here because he's spotted me. Willis is up at the top, and there's a couple of guys up there you can see on the minimap who reveal themselves now. So there's one, and the other one just 
uh, slid in. So there's a chain takedown there. Now, the chain takedowns, you may have noticed on some of my other videos they weren't working. It says use the, um, it flashes up right stick, RS, chain takedown, but you actually have to push the left stick. So that's the mistake I was making. I went and read the help again. And then this helicopter, I'm not sure what I'm hoping for here, shooting with the sniper rifle. I guess a lucky shot on the pilot, but given that I'm aiming absolutely nowhere near him, it was huh, hopeful at best. Now I wasn't sure where I was being shot from there, I thought perhaps down to the left. Uh, but I didn't see anyone there. So I went back to shooting the helicopter, but they will flash in in a minute. Hunting eyes aren't going to help anyone there. Uh, and then one shot from the grenade, to, at least it didn't blow the helicopter up, but the uh, splash damage got the pilot. So they went down, that made me happy. There's a guy over there. I think I get him with this shot? No. There's a few guys down here. <laughs> Thanks Willis. So Willis basically wants you to clean everyone out. There's a sniper up there who hits me and I take a snapshot against him poorly. Snapshot makes me think of XCOM. I should have healed there, because if he'd hit me again it would have been game over. But I took him down. Another guy ziplining in, that's an easy takedown. And then there's one guy in the corner you might see to the right, who I haven't noticed, and then a few guys spread down here. And again the shredder just makes short work of them. A couple of hits anywhere on the body from the shredder will drop these guys. It gets a little bit different in North Island. The next mission is going to take us there. Uh, at least I'm presuming so, the guard's experience just doubled, and that was certainly what happened in Far Cry 3. Uh, there's a few guys left, I was looking in there, I thought he might be in there, but he's actually kind of flailing out over by this fence here. And then there's just two more guys down here, and I think I returned to the grenade launcher for a bit of fun here. Load miss. Is it two or three? And blowing them up from behind is always entertaining, blows them over cover. Oh yeah, there's one more, and then... The final one, here. That's it, pretty much. Well, it's not. Judging by the lack of gunshots and explosions I'm hearing, I'd say you're in the clear. Come find me in the warehouse so we can finally get some face time. So I went to loot all these shiny bodies. Uh, I cut that, but then forgot to hit record again, so apologies, this starts about two seconds late. Five years and I still can't figure out if that smell is bad sanitation or just the abject loss of hope. I don't smell anything. Point keeping up with that facade anymore. So who are you? Well, look at you. American on the inside and useful on the outside. You're the perfect wolf in sheep herder's clothing. Way better than the SoCal douchebag I had to babysit at my last stop. You're both patriots, though. Both the type that'll put your hand over your gosh darn heart when you hear the Star Spangled Banner at a Fourth of July ball game. <laughs> useful on the outside? I work for Langley, Agent Willis Huntley. Langley, as in... CIA. Everything you need to know about who killed your father is in that file. What file? The one in the plane that's about to take off. Shit. Hey, you're gonna need this. Good lord, I love Willis. He gives you the most ridiculous missions, and this is no exception. Wingsuit, parachute, quad bike, chase the plane, you'll work it out, kid. Pretty much. <laughs> so, here we go. Chase the plane! Thankfully this runway is installed with a ramp, which makes life very easy. I guess it makes sense, it's a short, right, short runway, this. right? So the drop off at the end here. And then bail and wingsuit. Lots of fun. You'll see the quad bike careening underneath me in a second. Here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And then this guy's understandably quite surprised. Amazing shot with a grenade. You don't do it, it does it for you. And then a little parachute down to earth. Before you will get another cutscene and I'll see you on the other side. What the hell? AJ, I take it you have the file. Yeah, and it doesn't tell me shit. Redacted. You want to know more? Keep your mouth shut and help me with the job. Then I pull off more of those black bars. Fine. What's the job? I'm here to bring down Pagan Min and Yuma. Something the locals can't seem to pull off. I thought you people were good at waging guerrilla warfare. You people? Golden Path's waging the wrong kind of fight. I'm here to show them how it's done. 
Step one, hand him the airport. Step two, recruit the services of one A.J. Gale. That's you. Meet me back here when you're ready. Oh, and don't mention our little arrangement to the Golden Path. They're not in the need-to-know column. Now, if you'll excuse me, I gotta hit the crapper. Pardon my French. Jesus Christ, it's just a freaking hole in the ground. Which leaves us with, uh, and I hope you enjoyed that, uh, on the left taking Nor's fortress, and on the right the next story mission, kill or be killed, and Willis is taking us up to the Himalayas. Uh, I made it about three minutes into this mission and crashed again. This game is getting less and less stable, it seems. Uh, the more I play it, I might need to reinstall. I don't know, I'll see what happens. Anyway, that's it for now. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!